Our next speaker is Gil Avrea. He's a Wexner Israeli fellow, Israel fellow, and a mid-career MPA at HPS. Gil was born and raised in Israel. He serves he served as the legal advisor of the Israeli National Security Council in the office of the Israeli Prime Minister. The original theory he will present in his talk will be published in the upcoming volume of the Harvard National Security Journal. His talk is titled, The Civilitary Theory, Closing the Gap Between Outdated Words and the New Reality.
with extreme, not Muslim. And Prime Minister, the French Prime Minister, just declared that we are at war with Islam. Let's hold it for a minute and ask us, are we at war with ISIS? Is it the right word? Look at this map. This is a distribution of all the terrorist organizations and their affiliates around the world. So many terrorist groups around the world, but wait a minute, are they all alike? Is ISIS is like a terrorist organization in Asia and Boko Haram is like a terrorist organization in South America? They all call terrorist groups. This is outdated. Three maps with no names. ISIS controls a land in the size of Ireland. Boko Haram controls a land in the size of Kalubilat to Belgium. And the Houthis in Yemen controls a piece of land is in the size of equivalent to Spain. Now, here's a question. How do you call and how should we name the territorial dimension of terrorism? What is it? What are these maps? Hezbollah, says former Secretary of Defense Robert Gates, has more missiles than most government has in the world. In Harvard, I heard a very important phrase. It's called holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's read it again. Hezbollah has more missiles than most government in the world. Now, what I'm saying, what I'm asking, just intriguing the discussion, how should, what should we call the phenomena by which terrorist organization has more missiles than all the state combined? Look, look at this graph in the back. In the past, terrorists were using knives. Then they were using a, a vest with the explosive. Then they moved into planes and cars. And now they are moving to ballistic missiles. So we have to stop forcing the outdated terms. Recognize that reality has changed. Create new terms in, in order to move the thing forward. And uh, put a new theory in place. So here are a few alternatives. Terrorist group, the word is outdated. Terrorist group are not all alike. They are divided into two groups, and this is a new phenomenon. The regular groups, most of the terrorists on the list, and now you have a new phrase called transformative terrorist group. What are they? Transformative terrorist group, like ISIS, Boko Haram, and the other one on the list, have two phenomena which are new and has no name. They have the territorial dimension. Not like this in the past. And that administers the life of civilians. How do you call the maps? Thank you. How do you call the maps? Are these regular states or typical states? Of course not. Are these terrorist groups like the regular terrorist group? Of course not. They are transformative terms. So how do you call a phenomenon which is more than a regular terrorist group and less than a regular state? We call it terrorist state. So this is a new phrase. And as of the missile arsenal that is held by terrorists, we coin a new term named terror ballistic arsenal. And when someone from a terrorist group is attacking the civilians with ballistic missiles, we call it terrorist ballistic attack. Now, these new forms of wording, just what I want you to do this evening is think about it. Think about it that what does it mean maps without names? What, do you mean, what does it mean territorial dimension of terrorism? What does it mean that a state that uh, um, terrorist organization has more missiles than regular states. Words matter. Wrong words can lead to wrong perceptions.